Hey, what's up everyone? So today I want to give you our tour of our conversion. This is a cargo trailer I converted. Today I'm going to do a quick tour. I'll give you a little more detail later because we're actually camping and it's still a little dirty and we're picking up and stuff. But um, this was a 16 foot by six and a half foot tall cargo trailer. It's pretty much one the landscapers have. On the exterior, we put some bed liner paint, as you can see on everything here and the trims and all that. Uh, we made, we put some windows. So we get this window here, one on the door. And then we put some bigger tires on it, all-terrain tires, as you can see, and built these boxes on the exterior. This regards on the chip marks, we had some issues that's going to be uh, touched up again. Um, the suspension over here, this is a silent ride suspension. It's a 7,000 pound silent ride suspension independent, so it makes it really nice and smooth ride. Um, as you guys can see up here, all around the trailer, and I'll put that on the video later on so you guys can see at nighttime, but the entire trailer, 360 degrees, is lit up so at nighttime you can control independent zones and light up the entire thing and it's super bright uh come on this way we have here on the front a ladder helps you get up to the top if you want and then i have solar panels up there um because this thing is uh does run on lithium ion batteries as well and uh yeah so over here you just have your standard hitch uh let's go around to the other side so you can see the exterior. So over here on the back side, I did put extra legs. Um, these are little stabilizer jacks. So that when you drop the door down, it can also become a deck as well. You can hang out on the deck. Everything is exteriorly painted. You have another ladder on this side as well. Help you get up. Um, over here, we have our prone paint tank connection. This is for our water heater. Our water heater, it's an instant hot water heater with propane. And we have our boxes here, extra boxes that we made, you know, to put away stuff in there. Over here, you have your water connections. So you have your city, I'm sorry, your fresh, uh, your city, your black flush, and your gray flush. You have your uh, connections for the electricity here. All these here uh, that you guys will see on the side, these grills, except for that one. These are uh, automatic, so when the temperature gets too hot in there, it automatically turns on, exhausts some of the heat. That one is for the bathroom you guys are going to see on the inside. Obviously, our plumbing on the all, all down there. We have a black tank, fresh, a gray tank, and a fresh tank. The fresh and gray are 30 gallons. The black is 20 gallons, if I'm not mistaken. So we have a good amount. Let's come on the inside. As you guys can see over here as well, another window as well. Come on over here. All right, so this is our door. So I did put a stop so you can hold the door and also stop it from slamming. So you just go and the door stays open. I had put a big RV ladder drop down thing here, but with these kind of doors, it doesn't work well to take it out. So for now, I just put a step and we'll work on that a little bit. But come over here. So if you guys see here, these switches that I have here, these are the ones that control the exterior lights. So right now, if you look up the lights, the lights are on. And I can con independently control every zone uh, all the way around to see which one I want to have on. Over here, this is for your hot water. So you control in the thermostat temperature on the hot water. Here you figure out your levels in the tanks. Turn on your water pump if you need it, if you're running on fresh. This is to control the um, inverter on and off. This is your battery power. This is for the thermostats uh, for the fans to turn on. So that does it automatically. So let's come on in here. So as you guys can see, this is the bathroom. So on the bathroom, we have a mirror right there, toilet, and then you got your shower over there. Uh, the shower does have a um, skylight up there. Let's turn on the lights so you can see. It's a big shower and it runs very well. We have teak wood. It's a little dirty from the kids and all that stuff. Um, and then over here on the wall, we have a sink that drops down you turn on and you can move this little nozzle head around get some water there so it gets the job done and in a tight spot it works we got some toothbrush holders here you put our toothpaste here um over here on um, for the shower doors i have one of those nautilus doors it's a nautilus door so you just pretty much open and close it close it
So yeah, pretty simple shower. Up there I have a shelf to keep some extra stuff we need. And that little black thing there is a bag. We just put our extra things in there as a door. You can close the door. And you're good there. So everything is controlled on dimmer switches. So all the lights I can dim on, as you can see, brighter, lower, as well as the kitchen lights here for the backsplash, lighter and brighter. Uh, down over here, we have a bar we did, uh, just to take some, you know, whatever we have. If you wanna put Coke bottles or alcohol, anything you wanna put. You have a stove up here, electric one stove. Just put it on here and cook whatever you need. We don't really cook inside ever, so we put a very small one, just in case we need it for whatever reason, bad weather. Small microwave, it will run off your solar power. So you can turn that on and run it perfectly fine as well as the kitchen as well will. Down here we have our solar power, 3000 watt inverter from Renogy, with solar, the solar controller. Um, everything right here pretty much runs. You have your fuse box. You have your fuse box here, which will take everything as far as electrical goes. Um, right here, this button, what it does is that it controls the fridge. So it's a 600 pound magnetic switch, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're in transport with a trip with the RV, you just turn on or off the or magnet. And it'll stop you from opening the, the fridge. It won't swing open. And then you open it. And then here you have your fridge, which carries all the stuff. We carried all our food for still six of us for a week and we had a, tons of stuff and it's just, it's really deep. So it works well. And then you have, um, you know, cabinets everywhere. As you can see, everything here is for storage. So you have a lot of things here. And then on this side, we have a ginormous, uh, well, these are all the cabinets. As you guys can see them. All right, so I have a really good amount of space here. Uh, over here under the sink, a lot of space too. All right, we keep all our things on here. We have a really big sink, like bigger than our house sink. And you know, with a shower, you know, you go ahead and nozzle, pull it down. It works very well. Um, on this side, we store all our clothes. So it's like a little dresser over here. You know, all the kids' clothes, our clothes, everything, just pop it in there. You have everything you need. On this side is my oldest son. He sleeps on this bed, which is like a drop down bunk bed. Hold up, you know, works well. And has a switch back there for his, he can charge up everything he needs. Uh, over here, we did like a pull out chair type thing with storage. So you can use it back here. We store all our curtains and extra things in there. And then if you pull this down and this out, You have a little bench. We want to, we're going to make a cushion for it. We This is our first day, time out on the trailer, so we still have a couple of things that we need to fix and add to it. We're going to make a cushion that you can put on here to sit down on it. Um, you have this side. And then down here, we store some uh, extra chairs on these little cubbies down here. Over here on this side, you guys will see, um, I'll drop it into the video now because I already built it. So you'll see what it, what it looks like when it's open. Uh, this is like a kind of like a sofa bed type of thing you say, but this is our bed. So it pops out like a sofa bed. But over here as well, you have, if you want to, use it. You have another chair, all right? A little bench here, all right? You can sit down. And then you might say, what's the purpose of that, right? So I'll show you right now. See if you can see. Let me just put this away. Unfortunately, I had to make a little repair because I did break the thing to pop it up. So a little extra work to bring it up, but you'll see. This is our like dining table, you can say. Um, it's on a mortar, so it comes up and you, you know, just eat there. This is all the way up, pop that down. You bring down your tray on this side if you want to. Voila, as you can see, I can eat here. So, um, you know, it works out very well. Obviously when you go eat up here, uh, clean off your table or you, our idea, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a rug so that uh, whenever you wanna eat on here, you just take off the rug and it's gonna be clean on the bottom as well. 
This entire door, obviously, since it is a cargo trailer, pops down. So it opens up completely, like I said, and we're gonna use it as a deck. Can't pop it down right now because where I have the gazebo behind us. But when you pop it down, uh, you're gonna essentially have this whole thing open. So it looks beautiful if you have a view behind you, mountains, ocean, whatever it may be, it'll look great. Also very useful because when you gotta bring big things in here, bring it in here, you carry all your bikes, dirt bike, coolers, whatever you want. Just pop it in here and take it and transport. You don't have to take it in your car. So that's the whole idea of this was pretty much to make it a uh, multifunctional where you can just prop all your things in here and carry everything, everything in here with you and take it anywhere you need to go uh, and then just take it out so you won't have to go packed in the car. So let me show you when it pops down. So over here we just do the same thing. It's a little button I have here. You just click the button and voila. It is going to go away now. And that's gone, all right? And then, so I have little exhaust fans, one here, I have one behind the, 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 ba the batteries, and then I have one in the bathroom as well as an exhaust. We have skylights, we have this one here, and we have the one in the bathroom as well. And then as you guys can see, all around the trailer, here I have these uh, little accent LED lights, which at nighttime, the lighting is just perfect. It looks great um, all the way around the entire trailer. And we have obviously, switches with more than enough electricity. We have one over here on this side. As you guys can see, we have this waterfall effect where the counter just kind of keeps going. And then we have a switch there for the electricity. We have another switch one here. So everyone has more than enough to plug up whatever they need to for as far as battery power or whatever you need. Obviously our AC is here. We can run everything. I have uh, 200 and it's not a whole lot, right? But I have, it's enough. Uh, we have about, I think 204 or 210 amp hours of lithium ion batteries. The 3000 watt inverter, I can pretty much run everything. One thing I cannot run is this, but I can plug up everything and everything will work perfectly fine with that, uh, which is essentially what I needed and wanted to get. Uh, you can go with a way better and bigger battery bank if you want, more batteries. Uh, but for right now, this is enough for us. It's kind of our test run and our first production of we, we wanted to see what our, ca our capacity was and our capabilities. Um, and it's come out well. We just got to do a couple little more uh, adjustments to it. This trailer was done in cooperation with my buddy, Josh. He's the one that built the whole thing. Uh, and uh, pretty much I put the ideas into it and we went from there. If you guys are interested in uh, possibly maybe getting one done yourself, reach out to me. Uh, we can talk about that and see, how, and, and see what we can do. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. I'll give you a little more detailed comparison and show you a little more things in here if you want to see later on. But uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, have a good one, guys. Take care.